To truth the shelf happy new year um today's video as you can tell by the title i'm gonna go through my 2024 tbr i am gonna note what i want to read just for january but most of these will be for the entire year so first y'all i started maze runner in december and life is lifing right now so i really haven't even been in like the mindset to really focus like i haven't read in a while i don't know if it's the specific book or just the mindset i'm in i just don't want to read hopefully i don't end up in a reading slump i really don't want that to happen but nonetheless i want to read the maze runner series 2024 this will be my first series that i will have completed if i do it this year and also the kill order is not a movie but the kill order explains the backstory of before we start seeing like stuff about the maze and thomas and then there's another one after this called fever code so i still need to get fever code but ob obviously i have time to get my hands on that one but i definitely want to get through the maze runner series but i'm like 90 percent sure i'm gonna dnf maze runner and maybe pick it back up later but the bookmark I just took out of Maze Runner is one of the ones I designed myself. I just designed a set of four not too long ago. If you would like one or all four, leave me a comment, DM me on Instagram, something like that, and I will get the process started of sending them to you. What else? What else? What else? I want to read Fourth Wing, y'all. I finally got my hands on this. It was a steal, y'all. I got this out of Sam's Club. Okay, definitely want to get to Fourth Wing. I've heard so many amazing things about that book. I want to finish Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I am in the middle of this. No, I'm not the middle, like a little less than the middle, <laughs> probably a quarter. But I definitely want to read the rest of this. First two chapters were really, really interesting. Definitely contributed to a little mindset shift in me. So pretty sure the rest will be the same. Oh yeah, last Colleen Hoover book I read was Verity and it was five stars. So I want to read my other Colleen Hoover book in my collection, Too Late. I want to get to that. Uh, I did hear that that book could be a little triggering, so be careful if you want to get your hands on that one. It starts with Us by Colleen Hoover, and it ends with Us by Colleen Hoover. I want to get to these. These were also bought at Sam's Club with Fourth Wing, so I definitely want to get to those. Y'all, I have heard so many good things about this book, The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Last book I read by her was The Locked Door, five stars. So I have very, very high hopes for this book. Um, Pretty much a lot of heavy reads that I just mentioned. So I do want to get to some romances. These are two I want to get to. P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern and Two Steps Forward by Graeme Simpson really want a book to make me cry this year like I have not read a book that ever made me cry so hopefully one day in 2024 I will come across a book that brings me to tears maybe I'll get to Predator by Patricia Cornwell I heard a lot of good things about her and the character that she's wrote for um Dr. K Scarpetta supposedly she has a lot of books that center around that character so maybe I will get to this as well I think that is it in terms of what I have physically on me. Obviously throughout the year I'm going to constantly go to half price books. That's my favorite place to get books. Maybe Barnes & Noble. I want to hit up Books A Million this year and add more to my physical but I do keep a list of my non-physical um, TBR stuff I want to read and books that I also need to buy at the same time. So um, I really want to read Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Y'all I have heard so much about that book and it is fantastic. Um, I've only read one fantasy novel so far as an adult but it was five stars so if it's anything like that book I'm pretty sure I will love it. I want to get to that. Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Heard about that as well. It's also fantasy. I want to get to that. I really really want to get more into the fantasy genre this year. Before We Were Strangers is a romance that I've heard really good things about. I want to get to that. Fever Code is on here because that's the last book in the Maze Runner series. The Inmates by Frida McFadden. When I was looking for books by Frida McFadden, that was the one I was looking for, but they didn't have it at the half price books I was at. So I got the locked 
door instead and was not let down but i still want to read the inmate iron flame i want to read that after i read fourth wing that is obviously the second book i really want to read a jillian McAllister book y'all i have heard so many good things about her as well and her work so um wrong place wrong time i want to read some kennedy ryan fellow black booktubers rave over her and her books so um before i let go and my soul to keep i want to read those seven days in june by tia williams i have literally seen that book on almost every booktuber's five star list so i definitely want to read that the housemaid's secrets that is the sequel to the housemaids um also by freedom mcfadden the five star fantasy that i read is called kingdom of ash and briars by hannah west that is a series and i did not know until after i finished it so there's two more books after that called realm of ruins and palace of silver both by hannah west i want to read both of those if i can find them only thing is kingdom of ash and briars i found that in dollar tree so highly doubt the other two will be found in dollar tree all oh, magnolia parks i want to get to those books that is a series as well one two three four uh, five books magnolia parks daisy hates long way home daisy hates the great undoing and into the dark what's crazy is i've heard mixed reviews about magnolia parks like i've heard that they're absolutely phenomenal and then i've heard they're like they're super hyped up but i want to see for myself you know never lie by freedom mcfadden i want to get to that definitely want to read more alice feeney i have a physical book by her i didn't mention daisy darker i want to read that i have that on hand and then the thorn of glass series y'all it's a fantasy series by sarah j mass here so many good things about her and her books but her books are like super long but i want to get into and see what the hype is about sarah j mass so i want to read the thorn of glass series eight books who knows if i'll get to all of them possibly i don't know but all together with my physical and non-physical it would be Thirty-nine books. I'll just round it up to forty. Forty books I want to get to for the year of twenty twenty-four. I feel like that's doable. Majority of them are non-physical, so I need to get my hands on majority of them. But a good chunk is physical. The stuff I have on hand. That was my physical and non-physical TBR for twenty twenty-four. Let me know your thoughts on books you've read out of these that I listed. Share with me some of your TBR for the year. Super interested in hearing that. But thank you guys so much for watching and. I'll I'll see y'all in the next one.